Thank you very much, Ambassador Johnny. I think the first description she mentioned was teacher. And so this is my time to teach without a microphone to project. This is the teacher before the class. So bear with me, my fellow citizens of the world. Let me acknowledge all our ambassadors, our commissioners, our distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and of course, the sons and daughters of St. Lucia. I bring you greetings from the Sunshine Isle of St. Lucia on behalf of my government and the sons and daughters. It gives me great pleasure in accepting your invitation to join in this celebration of our 35th Independence Anniversary Milestone and to thank you for the contribution that you have made to St. Lucia in one form or fashion. In pondering over the content of my address in the context of the theme, unity and dedication for good of our nation. I was inspired as to the timing of the events and the venue. 35 years ago, in the same year of our independence, in 1979, our esteemed Sir Arthur Lewis was awarded the Nobel Prize for Economics, becoming the first black man to receive such a prize in an academic field of endeavor. To God be the glory. This occasion of our 35th independence anniversary coincides with the installation of Archbishop Kelvin Felix to become the first English-speaking cardinal at the papal consistory of the Holy See. <laughs> Though not by birth, Archbishop Felix of Castries received the Medal of Honor, gold, for services to religion from the government of St. Lucia on the occasion of our 23rd anniversary of independence for having rendered eminent service of national importance to St. Lucia. I can hear Archbishop Felix echoing a call for us for unity and dedication to stamp out poverty and indigence in St. Lucia and by extension the Caribbean region and the world. There could be no better place than a church, this adjoining building which I would like to call that we're still on holy grounds from which to marshal the forces of the St. Lucia and diaspora in Washington, D.C. and its environs to come to the service of country of their birth or the country of your ancestry, bringing with you the resourcefulness of your wealth and intellectual capital, your time, your talent, and your treasures. For it is in Matthew chapter 18, verses. Amen. Amen. 
When there's a rumble and a tumble, always remember Psalm 46 verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. He takes care of that. Matthew 18 verses 19 to 20. Again I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among them. And we gathered in his name a little while back. And we asked him for many favors. This shall be done in his name. And so, cognizant of and pursued to Matthew 18, may we from the house of our Lord Pray for the unity of our minds and souls and the dedication of ourselves for the pursuit and attainment of good of our nation, St. Lucia. My friends and family in this diaspora, we as a government have been very grateful for the contribution that you have made by way of financial transfers through your remittances to friends and families back home. According to the estimates of the World Bank, U.S. citizens have sent over back home just over U.S. $29 million in each of the past four years. These inflows into our economy have contributed positively to the balance of payments and to the stability of our Eastern Caribbean dollar. However, the global economic climate has become brutal in more ways than one. But in graduating us into the group of middle income countries, we have been denied access to grant funding and soft loans on preferential terms. Consequently, we had to turn to borrowing at market rates to finance our development. Unfortunately, we have reached a level of debt that is proving to be unsustainable and efforts are ongoing to reduce this public debt. However, for the good of our nation, capital investments must proceed in tandem with debt reducing activities and in the absence of room for further borrowing. As a policy option, my government has turned to the private public partnership mode of investment. You are encouraged to seek out investment possibilities in the water, airport, housing, roads, and other sectors whereby you can continue to make your contribution at initiatives that are mutually beneficial. Sons and daughters of St. Lucia, sons and daughters of the Caribbean region, and citizens of the world, apart from these big possibilities, I urge you to continue to give of your time, your talents, and your treasures for the good 
of St. Lucian's here and the world over. You see, sons and daughters of St. Lucia, we are a holy nation. We are a people set apart. And I can stand here this evening and testify to that. You see, I was there for Thomas. I was there for Hurricane Allen. And I was there for the trough and many others. And I saw what these disasters, these natural disasters, do to the heart and soul of the people. But of course, as a blessed community, as a people with resilience, a people who believe in the Most High God, we continue to hold on for one moment at a time. I saw the destruction to the landscape, the natural landscape. I saw spirits broken. But on the next day, and within the next hour, there was laughter, remembering what our people went through. There was no form of celebration of Christmas, but there was celebration of the Jesus Christ, the Savior. Because you see, he saved St. Lucia once again. And so, I am thankful to you today, all of you who gave of your time going from house to house, from community to community, from church organizations, schools, seeking support on behalf of your sisters and brothers in St. Lucia. I thank you for those of you who gave from your cupboards, from your bank accounts, those of you who gave from everything that you had to send home to the sons and daughters of St. Lucia. Those of you who gave up your talent, you made things, you designed so it could be sold, so funds and resources could reach the people of St. Lucia. And you do so, not only after a disaster, but during Christmas time. For this, I thank you. But on this, I want to encourage you to continue to rise to the occasion. As St. Lucians, whether in St. Lucia or in the DC area, I want to encourage you and challenge you. As a people of beautiful country, two Nobel laureates, Nina Compton and Darren Sami, I want to encourage you to rise, to teach your children how to rise above the challenges that come to us ever so often. We know it's tough times. This too shall come to pass because there is one who is greater than us. So we be steadfast at this time to hold on to faith, Hold on to what we have been given. Hold on to our belief that this too shall come to pass. After 35 years of independence, there is so much to celebrate. There is so much goodness in St. Lucia and St. Lucians in the DC area and beyond. So please, Continue to lend out a helping hand to the children of St. Lucians living in this place. Lend out a helping hand to St. Lucians who are homeless living in this space. To St. Lucians who are filled with mental disability living in your space. To St. Lucians who feel down and out in this, your space in the DC area. So while you support across the waters, always look first to your home, and your school. Charity always begins at home.
and indeed I give God praise for where we've come from. I give God praise for where we are. And I give God praise for where we are going. And I ask God for grace to continue to journey with us. That while we are in this desert, desert experience, he shall help us find the oasis. He shall help us find water. He shall help us find a place of comfort. In closing, I look forward to our further engagement and wish you enjoyment in the re remaining activities planned for the commemoration of our 35th anniversary of independence. So I want to say thank you to Ambassador Johnny and the team from St. Lucia who's having me here this afternoon. And I want you, if you have your glasses empty, half full, whatever is in there, raise your glasses as we salute the Helen of the West. Three cheers for St. Lucia. Hep, hep. Hooray. Hep, hep. Hooray. Hep, hep. Hooray. Long live St. Lucia. Hooray.